All right, guys, today we're going to be talking about 19 of the most profitable business ideas with low competition. And I'm going to be going over a lot of them that you've probably never even heard of before that are actually great opportunities right now. So if you appreciate me making these types of videos, let me know by gently tapping that like button. And let's go ahead and jump in. So first on the list is going to be a dog groomer, but you need to be a specific type of dog groomer, right? So it's best to specialize in specific types of dogs because they have specific types of problems. There are certain types of fur babies that shed a lot more fur than other types. And so when you specialize in those types of fur babies and basically making sure that they're well groomed, that's gonna be a better experience for the customer so their dog isn't shedding all over their house all the time. Now the Labrador Retriever, the German Shepherd and the Golden Retriever are the top three most popular breeds in the United States. And out of those three, the golden retriever is the one that definitely sheds the most. So you could focus on either the really popular dogs or the ones that shed a lot and basically just specialize on those. And that would make you even more valuable to customers. And if you don't think you can make money doing this, well, there's this 31 year old who makes $1.3 million a year with a dog grooming business. And he said that he came to the US with two scissors and a clipper, right? So this guy went from absolute zero to making $1.3 million a year. And generally speaking, you charge about 30 to $90 per dog grooming session. Now, different types of dogs cost more than other types, like the smaller types of dogs typically are going to be uh, more affordable. And then bigger dogs are going to cost more because it takes a lot longer and just more effort to groom them. But yeah, these types of businesses are booming. And you know, if you watch any market, the way that it works is it starts off as just all the generalists do everything. And then at a certain point, it gets to the point where you have to start specializing. And that's what's going to happen very soon in this market. If not, it's happening right now. It's probably happening right now, if we're being honest. So yeah, if you lived in a certain area where the people are maybe upper class and they have a lot of poodles and border collies and stuff like that, it would probably be a good idea to specialize in those types of dogs. And yeah, anyways, this is a booming business uh, doing extremely well right now. You also get to spend a lot of time around animals, which is great. So I'm going to give this one a nine out of 10 opportunity score. So if you're exhausted with your nine to five job, you need to pay attention. These were my earnings after a few months of doing YouTube when I was a full time stressed out pharmacist. And I'm going to walk you through how I earned a full time income from YouTube alone and the three most important simple steps that can allow you to do the exact same thing. And if you sign up now, you can also get a free mini course if you attend the live training. Now this is a limited seating live training. So make sure that you save your seat and you can do this by clicking the link down in the description in the pinned comment below. And honestly, my team and I thought about charging like $300 to attend this, but we ended up deciding to give it away for free because we really want to help people out. And by the way, during this session, you can ask me any questions. There'll be a Q&A session. Plus, there's not going to be any delay. So I look forward to seeing you there. All right, next one is going to be B2B freelance writing. And B2B means business to business. So this is basically businesses that work and cooperate and sell to other businesses. So they provide products and services that are useful for other businesses. And in the US alone, there are 33.2 million businesses. So there's a lot of market out there for B2B type businesses. And the way you do writing or content or anything uh, online, marketing, paid ads, anything, literally anything online is going to be completely different if you're in a B2B market versus a B2C market. So B2C is just business to consumer. B2B, like I said, is business to business. And the way you talk to business owners is completely different than the way you talk to uh, business to consumer. So you could specialize in being a B2B freelance writer of some sort. Now, if you don't think you can make money as a freelance writer, I don't know what to tell you. I mean, one of the easiest ways to make money, definitely not going to be outsourced or automated or, you know, Know, deleted by AI guys. And I'm, I'm the biggest fan of AI. I absolutely love AI. I use it as much as I possibly can. But I'm telling you guys right now, like the, the, nothing replaces just a good writer. Now, good writers can use AI to make their work better and also work faster. That's definitely something you can do. But in terms of replacing writers, it's, that's just not going to happen. And there are freelancers out there, just tons of testimonials. This person's making 4000 a month as a freelance writer part time. I, I think you guys know that you can make money as a freelance writer. I don't think I really need to show you that many testimonials. But you see that B2B freelance writers or B2B content writers make about $40 an hour, which is above average. And to be honest with you, I think that B2B content writing is probably a little bit easier to learn. It's different, but I think it's actually easier than B2C. So yeah, this is a really good opportunity, uh, something that I've seen out in the market, not that many people who are good at doing B2B content. I mean, like I said, it's easier to learn, in my opinion, it's just different. And I'll go ahead and give this one an eight out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be an online 
math or science tutor. So this is one where you typically do want to try to specialize a little bit. So you probably don't want to be just like a generalist math tutor. Maybe you could start off there, but typically it's best to specialize in something. So for instance, I did this back in college. And what I did is I taught people how to pass what's known as the PCAT, which is the pharmacy college admissions test, because I studied really hard for the PCAT. I had a pretty good score on it. And then I basically just tutored other people how they can get a good score as well. And these were people who were in pre-pharmacy and they were trying to become pharmacists. And I made over $100 an hour doing this as a college student, right? So if you find the right niche, this can be incredibly lucrative. And this is why I've mentioned it in many videos before. And I'll continue to mention it because it's one of the best side hustles out there. And it's also one of the best things that you can actually turn into a full time business as well. So for instance, this person says that they work about 30 to 40 hours per week and charge $90 per hour. That means they're making easily over 10 K per month as a tutor. So yeah, very reasonable to be able to make money with this. Even if you're a generalist tutor, let's say you're just like a generalist math tutor, you'll probably make between 25 and $80 per hour. But the real money comes when you specialize guys. I mean, that's just something that I know I repeat over and over again, I probably sound like a broken record, but it doesn't make it less true. So you want to specialize you want to niche down. So yeah, an online tutor, I'm going to go ahead and give this one an 8.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be a resume writer. And this is another one where I've seen people start this off as a little side hustle, and then turn it into a multi seven figure a year business. And this is where you basically just help people write their resumes so that they can apply to jobs and actually get through to the person who's the decision maker, and then hopefully Hopefully they get the job and resumes are extremely important when it comes to getting jobs. So again, the secret here, guys, is to always niche down, write Particular types of resumes, for instance, if you are out there and you're an accountant, right, you're an accountant watching this, write accounting resumes, because you're going to be much better at writing those types of resumes than just a generalist resume writer. And you can charge a ton of money for that guys, the more specialized you are, the more money you can charge because the more niche your knowledge is, it's all about supply and demand. Now, generally speaking, people who post kind of like generalist resumes make about 30 to $40 per resume written. But most of the time, these are very, very poorly written resumes. And people who do more specific resumes can charge hundreds of dollars per resume or even 1000s of dollars per resume written. And that way you don't have to rely on this when you apply for a job. So yeah, this one's really good. I'm going to go ahead and give it a nine out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be eco friendly cleaning services. So this is one that's really interesting. And it's basically environmentally friendly uh, and sustainable cleaning services. So this is where they don't use all the different toxins and all the different non uh, biodegradable different types of cleaning agents and all that kind of thing. And basically, they just make it to where the house is a lot healthier, because a lot of these different toxins and stuff like that actually end up seeping into your skin and getting into your body. And it's extremely unhealthy. You know, some of them you'll end up breathing in and that can be unhealthy, it can cause allergy issues or you know, all kinds of different stuff. So a normal Normal cleaning service already makes really good money. But if you're an eco friendly cleaning service, like you're an extra healthy cleaning service, oh my gosh, you can charge a ton of money. So you can easily make easily just starting right off the blocks 25 to $60 an hour easily, you know, if you're doing like a green cleaning service, you can easily charge an extra 20 30 even 50% more than a normal cleaning service. And the cool thing is, is you can start off just doing this by yourself. And you can get to six figures a year just by yourself. But eventually, you can get to the point where you hire employees, and then you can get to multiple six figures and even seven figures a year with this type of business. So yeah, really good one. A lot of these physical businesses are super underrated. Everybody says, Oh, do the online business stuff. And don't get me wrong. That's what I did. And I do love it. There's a lot of advantages to it. But the truth is, it's probably a lot easier to start a physical business like this, the ceiling isn't as high. And you know, the amount of freedom and you know, time location and financial independence that you have, you know, it's probably not going to be as good. But it's easier to just start a business like this and just start making money right away. So it could even just be kind of a side business that you do just to fund your main business that you want to do online. So yeah, really love this type of business. Uh, lots of opportunities out there. A lot of people just don't want to get their hands dirty. I remember I was trying really hard. I lived in Washington State and I was trying really hard to hire a carpet cleaning service and they were just giving me the most ridiculous rates for carpet cleaning and I just couldn't find anybody and then I finally found somebody and they they were busy for the next three weeks. So there's lots of rooms in these types of markets and I was living in kind of a medium sized city. So really good one. I'm going to go ahead and give this let's say an eight out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be a UI UX agency. So I've talked about UI UX a lot on the channel before user interface user experience. And as a UI 
by UX agency, you would be helping people to design their websites to where, you know, the websites are very nice looking, of course, but also they're extremely functional and they keep people coming back again and again. So you want to make your website as easy as possible to use. And that's actually one of the biggest secrets of Facebook. Facebook is one of the first companies that really adopted UI and UX. And that's what made them take over the market because their website was so unbelievably easy for people to figure out how to use. Even older people who had no idea how to use technology were able to easily figure out how to use Facebook. And so yeah, UI UX agencies, as you can probably imagine, you know, huge difference in profitability uh, for companies that actually implement UI UX versus the ones that don't. And there's an example of this guy who's a one man design agency, he does UI UX, and he makes a million dollars a year, literally just by himself. That's it, like no employees, right? So you can easily make it to like 100k per year up to you know, multiple seven figures a year doing a UI UX agency. So yeah, this is one of those where from an employer's perspective, it makes a lot more sense for me to hire an agency to do this rather than hiring a full-time employee because it's kind of something that's more of a one-time contract type of thing. Like I just wanna hire a really good agency to take care of the problem for me. And then maybe they do a little bit of maintenance down the line, like I have them on retainer just in case something goes wrong. But for the most part, it doesn't really make as much sense for me to hire a full-time employee for this type of position, but I do see the value of hiring an agency. So yeah, really good opportunity here. I'm gonna go ahead and give this one an 8.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be a social media consultant. And this is basically somebody who would specialize in a particular social media platform usually, or maybe they just specialize in social media in general. And you would consult with them on strategies for how to grow your own social media platform. So just to give an example, uh, there's this guy here who will strategy consult with Facebook businesses. So he basically gives strategy consulting for Facebook related businesses. So that would be an easy way to start the business is just to kind of start off as a freelancer offering gigs on Fiverr or Upwork, etc. But after some time, you'd probably want to just start your own consulting agency. You know, and this guy, for instance, charges $70 an hour, right? $70 an hour, over 3000 orders. I think you can do the math there. That is a lot of money. And generally speaking, social media consultants do make about $53 an hour. So even if you just get hired for a full time job, you can make really good money over six figures per year. But of course, you can make way more money if you just start your own business. And so yeah, this one's pretty good. Um, definitely my recommendation as almost always would be to specialize niche down in a particular type of social media that you're already really good at or you already know a lot about. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and give this one a 9.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Social media is everywhere right now. Um, pretty much any marketer will tell you that content marketing is giving the highest ROI out of any different type of traffic acquisition channel. Content marketing just beats everything else by a mile. You know, Alex Ramosi, for instance, came from the ads world where he was running paid ads and he said that he was getting 27 seven times more out of content marketing in terms of how much money he was spending on it than he was out of doing paid ads. So that just kind of shows you how much better content marketing is. And that's why you see these people blowing up on YouTube, starting their own businesses and making a ton of money in the first few years, like I was able to do, you know, I make six figures a month from this channel alone. And I do actually coach several people per month on how they can do it themselves. But I'm very picky about who I uh, pick for the program. Um, however, if you are interested in getting my coaching, and you're very serious about doing it, there is going to be a link down in the description as well as the pinned comment below, you can check it out. And also, if you're just curious about how you know, YouTube works and like how to start a YouTube business, there is some free training down there as well in the same exact link. So basically, I go over some free training either way. So definitely check that out. Next would be a Twitter copywriter. And this is a really interesting one. Because right now, I'm a huge fan of it. I think that it's a great platform in general. But I think my favorite thing about it is it's actually really good for making money right now. It's one of the more underrated platforms. And I've actually been posting a lot on Twitter lately. And not only is it really good for making money, but it's also incredible for networking. So just to give you an example, this guy made $50,000 in two months from freelancing with 199 Twitter followers. So Twitter is an incredible way to network, get jobs, uh, get gigs as a freelancer, sign clients as a business owner, just make money online in general. Uh, Twitter is really good right now. And if you want help uh, sort of making
making good content on Twitter, you're probably going to hire a Twitter copywriter to help you make good content. So that's where the Twitter copywriters come in. And they typically charge about 10 to $100 for a single tweet. And so for 20 tweets a day, you'd probably be making anywhere from 200 to $2,000. And so that's why you see a lot of these Twitter copywriters that are absolutely crushing it. So this is a really good one. Um, this one is on the rise. I've been saying this for a few years now, and it's absolutely I've been proven to be true. Um, there are literally Twitter copywriters that are making seven figures a year now. So I'm going to go ahead and still say this is a really good one to get into. In fact, I'd say it's an even better time to get into it now than it was a couple years ago when I first mentioned it. Um, I'm going to give this one a nine out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be a digital marketing agency. So there's a lot of different types of digital marketing agencies out there that you could start. And there are literally countless examples of people making a full time income doing this. So so Jimmy Nicholas, for instance, built his niche focused agency from nothing into a multi million dollar agency in less than seven years. And the average in terms of digital marketing services in 2024 ranges from $2,500 to $12,000 per month. So if you land a single client, you're basically probably on average going to be making a full time income from that single client. So that's why this is so powerful. Now, as usual, guys, I know I sound like a broken record, but you want to niche down, you want to specialize, don't be offering everything to everybody offer a very specific thing to a very specific person to solve a very specific problem. And that is how you make money in business guys. And I say this over and over again, but then I get on the phone with people who are like, Oh, yeah, I'm just offering everything to everyone. And I'm like, have you been watching my videos? Like, that's of course why you're not making money because you're trying to offer everything to everyone. Why would they do that? So yeah, digital marketing agency, amazing business model to get into. With that being said, it's probably better that you get into something like this first as an employee. Okay. So if you get hired in a digital marketing role, you're basically going to be paid to learn digital marketing. And that's the beautiful thing about this. Now, this is a relatively new career. And a lot of the time they do hire uh, younger people for these types of careers. And so you can literally get paid to learn digital marketing. It doesn't take that much or that long to get into a digital marketing job and you can get paid to learn it. And then later on, after you've gotten paid to learn the skills, you can start your social media marketing agency on the side. But yeah, I'd say the easiest way to get a digital marketing marketing job is actually through my friend Seth. He's somebody who I've brought on the channel before. He's basically the goat of getting people digital marketing jobs that don't require a college degree or previous experience. He's my business partner. I've interviewed a bunch of our students on the channel. Uh, for instance, there was a 16 year old who was able to land a $40,000 a year job. Interviewed him before. He's awesome. James, check him out. I might actually bring him on the channel again at some point in the near future because now he's like 18. So yeah, Seth does have a free training where he goes over what digital marketing is, the different types of digital marketing, whether or not digital marketing is a good choice for you, the different types of personalities that work work with it and all that kind of thing. All of that is revealed in his free training, which I will put down in the description as well as the pinned comment below. So definitely check that out. So yeah, digital marketing agency, I'm going to go ahead and give this one a nine out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be an online course consultant. So this is basically where you would consult on how people can create an online course that actually gets their students results. Because there's a difference between creating an information based course versus a results based course. Because what's just as valuable is telling the students the right information is not telling the students the wrong information, leaving that wrong information out. And honestly, even better than that is leaving the mediocre information out as well. And basically just making it a super straight line to get from where they are to where they want to be and leaving out anything that doesn't follow that straight line process. And most coaches and course creators unfortunately make a big mistake in that they have too much in their course. They try to overpopulate their course and it just ends up information overwhelming people and then they don't get results. And so this is something you could teach as an online course consultant. And there are tons of people out there doing this. For instance, this lady on Fiverr charges about $295 for a package consulting on online courses. So you could start on Fiverr or Upwork, et cetera, get your first few clients and then build your agency or your consultancy from there. So yeah, this one's a really good one. I'm going to go ahead and give it a seven out of 10 opportunity score. Another amazing business opportunity in 2024 is going to be a specialized catering service. This is where you would specialize in a particular type of diet. For instance, you could specialize in vegan, keto, carnivore, whatever diet people in your local area really want or whatever diet you feel really good 
about making yourself or whatever diet you really enjoy yourself, or maybe you just enjoy cooking for, et cetera, et cetera. You want to specialize in a diet, that's the big thing. And then you wanna offer either a catering service or a delivery service for that specific type of food. So if you are someone who has ever followed a specific diet, you are going to immediately see the value in something like this. Because it's actually really difficult to cook for a specific type of diet. And it's really difficult to know that you're getting food that follows the dietary guidelines. And so if you can create a service that where they don't have to worry about that and they know they're getting some tasty food that's healthy for them, that follows their dietary guidelines, and they're getting it in a very efficient manner where you're saving them a bunch of time, they're gonna pay you really good money for that. So just as an example for vegans who are about 3% of the population in the US, they typically pay about $30 per person per meal. And this is at restaurants. And so if you serve 20 vegans per month, let's just say 20 deliveries of a single piece of food per month, that's $600 a month. And the crazy thing is, is you can just do that with one person. So with one person, you can make $600 a month. And then when you have a few clients, you can see how these numbers would really stack up. And you before before you know it, you'd probably be making over $10,000 a month. And that's what a lot of these catering and delivery businesses are doing. They're absolutely crushing it by specializing in a particular type of diet. So yeah, really love this one. Um, I'm gonna give it a nine out of 10 opportunity score. I think it's amazing. Next is going to be a virtual event planning agency. So this could be any number of different virtual events. So virtual conferences, uh, virtual webinars, etc. Another one that companies do all the time is virtual challenges now. I've done a few of those myself. Myself. And typically companies do these in order to bring more awareness to their product or service, uh, educate their audience, and eventually down the line, make extra sales for their product or service. And these can be incredibly successful and very lucrative as well. And the virtual event market size was estimated at about $78 billion in 2023. And it's expected to grow at a cager or compound annual growth rate of 18.8% from 2023 to 2030s, which is amazing. So yeah, virtual events are not going away. Uh, they're huge. Just as an example, Tony Robbins once held a virtual event with over 400,000 attendees over a seven day period. So that's an example of someone doing this at the highest level. And as you could probably imagine, there were, <laughs> there needed to be a lot of technology infrastructure to make sure they could accommodate uh, all those people. Now, virtual event planners on Upwork typically charge between 20 and $100 per hour. But of course, you can make more than that if you start your own agency. So yeah, this one is pretty good. Um, again, I feel like a broken record. Make sure you specialize in particular types of virtual events. Go out there on the market, interview people, figure out what they really want and specialize. But yeah, this one, I'm gonna go ahead and give it an eight out of 10 opportunity score. All right, guys, I'm gonna try to get through these last ones faster because um, I feel like I'm going into too much uh, detail on these. So modern office interior designer. This is a pretty good one because offices are trying to get people to come back in, right? People got a taste of that remote work lifestyle and they loved it. They don't want to go back to the office. And so offices are trying desperately to get people back into the office. And so they're making it kind of look, look like Google headquarters and just making it look super fun and hip and awesome and a place you'd want to be at. This is actually a really good niche to go into right now. So interior design, but specifically modern office interior design. This is a great niche to go into. Uh, uh, interior designers offer their services for typically around 40 to $70 per hour on Upwork. And if you specialize even further in modern office interior design, where you're basically only working with other businesses, you can charge a heck of a lot more than that, let me tell you. So um, I know people who are crushing it, doing something very similar to this. Look into this stuff, guys. A lot of opportunities here. I'm gonna go ahead and give this one an 8.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Next one is a really fun little local business you could do, and that's a nano brewery. And this is basically a small small scale brewery that produces limited quantities of craft beer. Now, you know, definitely in certain parts of the United States, craft beer is extremely popular and people get very hipster with their craft beer. You know, um, if you drink flat tire, for instance, that might be too mainstream for a lot of people out there. And so a lot of people only wanna drink beer from nano breweries and they feel superior when they drink that type of beer, right? I'm sure you probably know someone like that. There's this cool example of you know a 23 year old that bought a $150 home beer brewing kit and turned it into a six figure business. So there are a lot of opportunities out there for these little niche micro breweries. You know, people are making really good money with this and you can charge a lot more than a typical beer because you're making craft beer, right? So you're making a type of beer that is 
superior and it's not mainstream and it's homemade and a lot of people prefer that kind of taste so you can charge a lot more than uh, normal beer companies and then you can just sell it to local businesses or all that kind of thing and a lot of local businesses actually like to support uh, other local businesses which is great so yeah there's a good amount of opportunity here um, definitely a lot more to it than that but I'm gonna go ahead and give this one a 7 out of 10 opportunity score the next one is an online bookkeeping slash accounting agency so this is one where you know as an entrepreneur myself I went out there and I started trying to look for basically online accountants and online bookkeeping services that cater to my specific situation because I travel all over the world. So I haven't been back in the US in over two years now. And this is a very weird situation that not that many people fall into. And I had a really hard time finding a bookkeeping or accounting service that knew anything about this. And so again, guys, this all comes down to specializing. Now, I'm in a particular situation. I'm not telling you to go out there and start an online bookkeeping or accounting service for digital nomads or people that travel the world, but find people who are in specific situations that make their tax situation different than other people and then help those people, right? Find those niches. And that's how you really can grow a business like this. You know, and there's this guy right here who posted on YouTube about how his bookkeeping business replaced his $100,000 salary. And he was able to start a bookkeeping business. And by the way, you don't need to be an accountant uh, or a CPA. You don't need to be certified in order to start a bookkeeping business. Bookkeeping and accounting is, is a completely separate thing. And this one can be especially profitable when it's at certain times of the year, like around the end of the year towards tax season. There's tons of people that are hiring for these types of positions and are hiring different bookkeeping agencies. So yeah, this one's really good. Lots of opportunity here. I'm going to go ahead and give it a seven out of 10 opportunity score. By the way, share this video with a friend who needs to see it. Someone who's out there looking for a side hustle or looking for a niche business idea to start. Go ahead, share this video with them. We've done hundreds of hours of research on this. I also inserted a lot of my own life experiences and just things that I've noticed over the years into this video. So if you appreciate that, go ahead and share this with someone else who wants wanted to see it as well and would also appreciate it. Next is going to be a pretty easy one to get into and that is ghost writing. So this is basically one where you'd want to specialize. So you'd want to become a ghost writer for a particular platform. So for instance, you might become a Twitter ghost writer and it's probably even better to specialize even further than that and become a Twitter ghost writer for a specific niche. So for instance, you could be a Twitter ghost writer for people who sell info products online or a Twitter ghost writer for people who own SaaS companies, something along those lines. And this is one that I've seen absolutely blowing up in the last few years. Um, not just Twitter ghostwriter, because I know I mentioned that before, but just ghostwriting businesses in general. The need to create content is intense, and a lot of people have already created a good reservoir of content, and they basically just want a ghostwriter to kind of go in there, read their content, extract the interesting bits out of it, and then post it all across social media. And so this can be really good. And here's a story of this guy uh, bootstrapping a $1 million plus dollar ghostwriting business from rural Ohio. So yeah, you can definitely make a ton of money doing this. Um, lots of different niches out there as well. I just used Twitter as an example, but there's lots of other ones. I'm going to go ahead and give ghostwriting a 9 out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be selling supplements and vitamin products. So this is one, guys, where, again, I know I sound like a freaking broken record, but you want to specialize and niche down. One thing that's really hot right now is the carnivore diet. Um, this is something, you know, I follow all the different trends on YouTube, and this is a trend that is extremely hot right now. And I, I'm telling you right now, there are going to be people that make like $100 million selling different supplements related to the carnivore diet. So it's something to look into. It's a, you know, I personally think it's a great diet. I personally kind of like to sort of switch on and off different diets. Um, but uh, the carnivore diet is really good for kind of identifying um, different types of allergies you might have or sensitivities that you might have. But yeah, the US dietary and supplement industry guys is a $50 billion a year industry. That is massive. That is absolutely massive. So many different stories of people who were able to start massive businesses um, in this space. This guy, for instance, turned $5,000 into $10 million selling supplements on Amazon and just so many different examples of people making money with this. So yeah, this one is really good. Um, make sure you kind of sell good quality supplements, get a good reputation and sell them in the right types of industries. Uh, like I said, carnivore, for instance, is really good right now. Um, I'm going to go ahead and give this one an 8.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Another one I really like, and I think this one's going to be extremely hot, is going to be installing smart home technology. And specifically, you'd be installing this in wealthy neighborhoods. So uh, there was a client that I recently talked to who was interested in starting on YouTube. 
And he basically does something very similar to this, but this is actually even more niche than what he does. And he said, this is what people are really interested in right now. So installing smart home technology. So Alexa or you know Siri or whatever, um, hooking that up to different smart home technology so you can tell it to turn your lights on or tell it to turn the air conditioner on or give it different instructions or you know you can even integrate AI with it now. It's getting really crazy what you can do with this type of thing. It's actually incredible. And so this is gonna be a massive market. Um, there's gonna be businesses that probably get up to like $100 million a year uh, in this market. So it's there for the taking. It's relatively new. It's in its infancy. People are still figuring it out, but this is absolutely going to be a massive market. So I'm gonna give this one a nine out of 10 opportunity score. By the way, I did make a video on 10 of the easiest AI related side hustles. So if AI is something Something you want to get into you can definitely check that video out it got a couple hundred thousand views i think and you can check it out by clicking right here